Hey Brad, it's Paul here. Hey Brad, it's Paul here, mate. Just wanted to do a quick video for you on the MoMaster and the MEY. Just a bit easier to have a look at the differences between them, um, mate. Alright, so just to give you an idea of the um, the drive clutch arrangement. So on the, on the MoMaster you've got that idle roller there which puts tension onto the V-belt. Alright, so you pull the, there's a lever, well you would have seen the lever on the top, you lift that up. Right, and that puts tension on that belt to give you drive. The real clutch, this is it here. Not really a clutch as such, but basically it's just a uh, idle roller again. You pull that lever down, locks in a position, and that puts tension on that belt. Now the downsides to having that belt in the position it's in is if you're not careful, that see how that belt wants to rest against that piece of plate there? Right, and there's another one down here. Now people will tell you that you can adjust that idle roller to get that belt tension just perfect so it doesn't have any drive on it, but it doesn't touch there. But the downside to not running maintenance on it is that it tears the top off the V-belt. Now this isn't mine, although I've had one of these before. Um, it's a mate of mine's, I'm fixing it up for him, but I took the cover off just now and that's what I found inside the cover. Um, the other downside to this cover is the bolt position so you've got one at the top here which is fine to get to because you can get to the nut on the other side but the one down the bottom here is a pain in the bum because when the bolt goes through there the nut has to sit on the other side and to get to the nut you got to use your spanner and poke it down this gap here because the nut is right in the middle of the side plate down the bottom down there about where the position of that spanner is now you've got to get to that down there so it's not very helpful at all um, also if you have a look at the MoMaster everything that's painted green and where the paint has come off is now rusting because there's no treatment on the shafts except for the fact that they put paint on it um, which is not ideal either for longevity because this thing will look like it's been left out in the weather um, the longer you have it for I suppose this one doesn't look like it's been all that well treated but anyway it will eventually happen to most of them um, uh, what else all right now the MEY um, so just have a look at the clutch and drive arrangement for the MEY so this is the drive handle up here that's its position relaxed or not driving and then when you release it that idle pulley there in the center drops down and puts tension on the belt all right pretty simple a little bit a little bit the same as the mo master and then the clutch is a cup and cone um, so you've got this handle here when you want to release it that cup and cone come together right and then through friction they drive the reel now i think much better that design much more positive um, now in the side cover um, you've just got chains in the side cover. Now the side cover is really easy to get on and off. Um, the guys have put them in a great position. So you've just got these wing nuts. A bolt goes through the side here. Wing nut on the inside. Easy to get to. And then another one here. Really easy to get to. Nothing in the way. Don't need tools or anything like that. Um, adjust the reel. You've got a threaded rod and two nuts here. You've got to take the cover off and undo the reel bearing housing right on both sides this one you've got to take the cover off the other side you can get to it and then you use those nuts to adjust the reel um, the mo master is a little bit different it's got its adjustment here and it adjusts the bed knife all right so you can change that position of the bed knife just there so it is actually easier to make an adjustment on the mo master if you want to adjust your cut um, now just to look at the front rollers now Unfortunately, I can't show you the front roller on the MoMaster because I'm fixing that at the moment because the design for that is, I think I put in the message to you, terrible. It's just basically, um, the MoMaster one is just a bit of hollow tube with a plastic cup in the end, bit of rod through it with a plastic bearing, basically like a bush and that squeals and squeaks and seizes up and all sorts of stuff. Now the one on the MEY, is much bigger much heavier duty um, it's got a seal in the end here it's got a bearing in there much better design you won't have to do anything with that you got grease nipples here for the grease points in the sides here so that you don't get i guess this roller here doesn't seize and your front um, roller can always move doesn't seize up on the shaft that runs through there to hold it in a position 
Um, what else? Obviously both got Honda engines. Now, price-wise, I think this unit here is probably about $400 more than the other one, depending on what pricing you're going to get. The MEY is a little bit more expensive. Um, what else is there? I think that's about it. If you've got any more questions, mate, just um, let me know. But I hope that helps.